Hello, my friends, and welcome to the Media Center today. Today, we're going to read a very special book. The book is called The Pout Pout Fish. Really fun book. And after the book, we're going to draw a picture about the book. So hope you have fun and let's get started. The Pout Pout Fish by Deborah Dyson. Pictures by Dan Hanna. The Pout Pout Fish. Deep in the water where the fish hang out lives a glum, gloomy swimmer with an ever present pout. I'm a pout pout fish with a pow pow face, so I spread the dreary wearies all over the place. Blub, blub, blub. Along comes a clam with a wide, winning grin and a pearl of advice for her pal to take in. Hey, Mr. Fish, with your cross town frown, don't you think it's time to turn it upside down? Says the fish to his friend. Nice thought, Mrs. Clam. I hear what you're saying, but it's just the way I am. I'm a pow pow fish with a pow pow face, so I spread the dreary wearies all over the place. Blub, blub, blub. Along comes a jellyfish. He floats through the ocean, his tentacles all trailing in a gentle locomotion. Hey, Mr. Fish, with your daily scaly scowl. I wish you wouldn't greet us with a grimace and a growl, says the fish to his friend. Mr. Jelly, I agree. I'd like to be more friendly, but it isn't up to me. I'm a pout pout fish with a pout pout face, so I spread the dreary wearies all over the place. Blub, blub, blub. Along comes a squid, quite a slender, squiggly sight. She is squirmy, she is squelchy, she is slightly impolite. Hey, Mr. Fish, you kaleidoscope of mope. How about a smile, a little joy, a little hope? Says the fish to his friend, Mrs. Squid, I would try, but I haven't any choice. Take a look and you'll see why. I'm a pout pout fish with a pout pout face, so I spread the dreary wearies all over the place. Blub, blub, blub. Along comes an octopus with eight great arms, covered on the underside with tiny sucker charms. Hey, Mr. Fish, let me tell it to you straight. Your hulky, bulky, sulking is an unattractive trait, says the fish to his friend. Mr. Eight, my chum, with a mouth like mine, I am destined to be glum. I'm a pow pow fish with a pow pow face, so I spread the dreary wearies all over the place. Blub, blub, blub. Now along comes a fish 
in a silent silver shimmer. The gang has never seen before this bright and brilliant swimmer. She approaches Mr. Fish, but instead of saying, hey, she plants a kiss upon his pout, and then she swims away. Mr. Fish is most astounded. Mr. Fish is just aghast. He is stone-faced like a statue. Then he blinks and speaks at last. My friends, says Mr. Fish, I should have known it all along. I thought that I was pouty, but it turns out I was wrong. I'm a kiss, kiss fish with a kiss, kiss face for spreading cheery cheeries all over the place. So I'll smooch, 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 smooch. So now it is time for our drawing. Now for the drawing today, we are going to use a special website. We're going to use the rocket ship and the secret password for today is going to be number five. Let's click it. Now when you click on the secret password number five, it takes you to autodraw.com and there's a magic pencil up here. And if you click it, you can draw stuff and then there's something really cool that happens. So this is my fish. But up here it says, do you mean, and it gives you a bunch of fish that you can scroll through or things that it thinks you were trying to draw. I clicked on that fish, I'm going to click select. I'm going to move my fish around and set it up right here. Next, I'm going to color the fish with the paint buckets. Pick a color, click the fish wherever you want to add the colors. Now I'm also going to change the eye color. Whoops, let me click a different color and click on the outside of the fish. So my fish is ready. Oops, I accidentally hit the fill bucket in the background, but that's okay. I'm going to change the background later. It's time to draw a shape. I'm going to use the square, but I'm actually going to make like a big rectangle and fill it up with a blue color. And I'm going to use a select tool and move the fish up above the water but the water is blocking the fish. So if I press control C and then control V, I'm going to copy and paste the fish and that will create a new fish that's on top of the water. So next it is time to change the background color by clicking on the page with a different fill. I'm also going to select a shape for a sunny day. So let me click on the circle and click a yellow color and fill the sun with yellow going to select and move the sun and move the fish a little bit. I think I'm ready to go. Let's click on the three lines and click share. This will get us ready to publish. Let's click share one time. Boom, here we go. Now I'm going to try and publish this on the remote learning website. So let me go back to this tab, put in the password 1000. And now I do have my remote learning tab right here. Now again, if you want, you can open it up on its own window by clicking the arrow coming out of the box. I'm going to do that to make it a little bit easier. So I have my classroom wall tab and I should have my drawing tab here on auto draw. I click this tab and now I can click on my image and I'm, I'm not going to leave go of this mouse. I'm moving it around and I'm going to move the mouse all the way up to the classroom wall tab. Now I did not leave go of the mouse, so I'm bringing it down. And, and you, what you can see is that the background changes because it knows that I'm about to add something. Let me leave go. When I leave go, then the work starts to upload. And now all I have to do is click on the pencil so I can write my name and my title or description. So now that my image has been published on this tab, let's go back to the remote learning website and see if it has shown up right here. 
let's see if I can make this a little bit bigger. Here it is. So I hope you had fun today listening to the story and hopefully you can do a drawing too and publish it. See you next time.